This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the last day of January. Wow, the 31st. I'm James Spann, and you know it begins this week. This will be our most special storm tour yet, Storm Alert 2012. We look back on the general tornado outbreak of uh, uh, April 27th of last year. We will honor those that died and uh, celebrate those uh, lives and also the ones that survived. And uh, it's going to be very powerful and very special, so we encourage you to join us. We kick it off this Thursday night at Central High in Tuscaloosa on 15th Street. And there's the rest of the tour. All the shows begin at 6.30. And again, needless to say, the advice is to uh, get there early to get a good seat. We're looking forward to it. All right, let's look at the... uh, uh, Set up here this morning with a SkyCam network. That's the uh, Jasper SkyCam. It's uh, cool, but not as cold as yesterday. Most everybody above freezing. Go up north, that's the Huntsville SkyCam. You can see that big old Saturn V rocket there at the Alabama Space and Rocket Center. And let's cross the state line. How about the SkyCam at Tupelo, Mississippi? And uh, again, the sky there is clear. Kind of a wavy water vapor satellite uh, view there of the nation. And again, uh, it's zonal, so no really cold air involved. In fact, uh, this morning, Birmingham's sitting at 52. Now, look at Fort Payne. They're 20 degrees colder. That's why this is not a one-number place when you forecast a low. Uh, They're sitting at uh, freezing. (coughs) Tuscaloosa, 40. Uh, But again, this will be the coolest night for a while as uh, we continue to warm up. We'll be well up in the 60s today. And around the nation, there's just not any really cold air across the country. Uh, maybe the northern tip of Maine, and that's about it. And again, we'll keep an eye on that Alaskan cold where they uh, did 62 below zero yesterday at Fort Yukon, but no sign of that moving down here anytime soon. Uh, there's the uh, watch warning map, and boy, it's quiet. Just a couple of issues way up north on the Canadian border, and that's it. Uh, convective outlooks, I don't have a lot to show you here. This is day three, which is Thursday. There's a slight risk of severe weather. Out there in Texas, between Midland and uh, Abilene. But around here, we do not expect any severe weather for the next five days. And there's the rain through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, suggesting amounts of about three-quarters to one inch. And that would be with the showers tomorrow and also the rain we get on Saturday, as you'll see. So let's look. This is the GFS, the 06E run at noon today. Today, some energy well north of here. And again, for us, it should be a... Partly sunny, mild day. Upper 60s likely today. Won't feel like uh, the last day of January. Tomorrow you can see shortwave energy approaching. The uh, amplitude is not all that great. And down below, showers should begin to break out during the day tomorrow. And again, the model continues to suggest the heavier total should be near the Gulf Coast. This is tomorrow night at midnight. Still showers around, but by uh, midday on Thursday, that stuff is long gone. So it looks like the showers will be ending during the pre-dawn hours Thursday. We'll probably start the day Thursday with clouds and uh, maybe the sky becoming partly sunny by afternoon. And again, we'll be up there in the upper 60s, flirting with 70. And Friday looks good. Uh, the, the GFS is showing a high of 70 on Friday. Kind of breezy, a mix of sun and clouds with rain developing to the west. You can see uh, potential for some pretty good rain over Texas and Oklahoma and snow over Colorado and around Goodland, Kansas, and parts of Nebraska, if this is right. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, that's the deal. This big upper low sets up over the middle of the nation, and down below that, there's a it's stacked. There's a surface low underneath that, and we've got a moisture axis in place and some lifts, so a chance of showers. Will it rain all day? No. Will it be especially heavy? Probably not. Uh, But just keep in mind, it should rain at times on Saturday, and In Sunday, the same deal, Uh, the surface low weakens and drifts north. And again, this is suggesting we'll maintain the chance of showers. Maybe Sunday morning, this is kind of showing some drier air, a dry slot entering northwest Alabama, maybe by midday. But we'll just keep it going throughout the day, Saturday and Sunday. And again, no severe weather, rain not all that heavy, but just keep the rain gear handy if you'll be outside. And we stay mild, highs in the 60s over the weekend. And then Monday of next week, uh, everything kind of, moves along and we're starting to dry out uh, if if the gfs is right and it cools down a little bit with uh, highs in the 60s and there's tuesday of next week and that looks dry but hang on here let's look at the european Ooh, that's monday oops all right somebody's wrong 
The GFS is dry. The European is wet, really wet on Monday. Um, and, you know, I, we kind of lean this way. It, it might be a little prolonged rain event, maybe Saturday, Sunday, Monday, if this is right. And then finally Tuesday, it's gone. So there's your model madness. We'll check uh, deeper in the month. This is the 11th. Now, you know, we've seen looks off the GFS of very cold air getting in here around this time frame, the 10th through the 12th of February. But uh, this run, not as cold. The amplitude of that western ridge is not that great, not really tapping the cold air. And accordingly, it's just not that cold on this run. And we all knew it's, it's going to come and go. And then we'll check the end of the forecast on the 15th out there at mid-month. And that's not really a cold look at all. Big upper low near San Francisco. The polar jet is up north, and that's just mild and quiet and uneventful. But again, we'll see. Uh, there's still time for a pattern change, but on this operational run, we're not seeing it. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.